Today we're going to be showing you how to install a pulse width modulator into an enclosure along with the fan motor, knob, and the retaining nut. There's some tricks to doing this. On our website we call this a fully completed modulator, pulse width modulator. It's fully assembled. That is all the printed circuit board has all the resistors and all the mechanisms on it. Has the uh, potentiometer on it. Because you can buy these completely disassembled with the printed circuit board separate and all the little resistors etc. It's got to be soldered in. What you want to do is when you get your enclosure you're going to find some screws inside the box. The screws are right here. And um, the way you can mark this to fit this into the box you want to keep it off the bottom a little bit and get an idea where that's going to go. You can see right there where that little adjustable stem is going to come through the box. The way you can mark the outside of this is you can use a solder gun or a solder iron, soldering iron and just kind of mark a spot on it for your drill bit like this. We already marked that one right there. That way when we go to, to drill it like we're getting ready to do now we have something that will keep the drill bit from sliding around. You can put it on top of a board. Should we wear an eye protection? I have that on because um, we're going to be doing some grinding. So if you watch this we're going to just gr drill right through this box. This is a 5 16 drill bit. We kind of got it on slow speed to the enclosure so that we can fit the pulse width modulator into that hole. Now keep in mind this pulse width modulator has got a printed circuit sticking out a little bit beyond where the end of the nut's going to go. So if you stick it into the, bo the box, the enclosure, you're going to see that the printed circuit, I'm going to point this out, the board strikes the box. Because if you tried to pull this in, you could break the uh, potentiometer or the adjuster right off the board. Uh, it's just soldered onto there. So what we're going to do here is once we fit it in there, before we put the nut and tighten it up, you want to basically uh, get an idea where you're going to be cutting into the box. So what we're going to use is a pneumatic slicing wheel. Um, this will work if you have a solder, uh, soldering iron. That will work also. You just melt it across. This is quicker for us here at the shop. So what we do is we see the area where we're going to cut that printed circuit board and we're going to go ahead and cut it. So now you got more stems sticking out right here. And then uh, that will keep the knob on there. Get, trying to get all of the uh, trimmings out of the box. So you got the pulse width modulator mounted in there. You have the board where it's not striking the end right there. We're going to put that right here. The fan motor is 12 volts. It's going to run right off this board. Um, we can put that fan motor, we're going to just mark it right back here like this. It's going to be in position in relationship to the, this probably back further like that. We, we already marked it off where we're going to cut this, this box open for the fan. Okay, before we get to that, we want to show you something else here in regard to this box. We just set that in to show you how to put there for this. We're going to take this back out. The reason why we're taking it back out is because we're going to have to do some more cutting. By the way, don't drill in the box with this pulse width modulator in here because people have already broken them when the drill pit strikes the board. What we're going to do first, before we get to this fan motor, we're going to trim all that out like we said. We're going to cut the complete back end of this box out. Why? Because you have wires that are going to connect onto this pulse width modulator. The box can be cut out. We're going to trim that out right now with the, with the uh, cutter wheel. We're going to just take that right out of there. Watch it, this is hot. So what you can do, you can trim that with a knife or something to let it dry, it'll break right off. Okay, the instructions that we have on the internet show you the Y diagram for the pulse width modulator. They're very clear. You got a 12 volt positive down here. You got an M plus, an M minus, and a ground wire. That represents the pulse width modulator. We're going to hook that fan in later. We'll show you where that hooks in. It's going to run right off the power when you put the key on. All right, so here's what we have. And like I said, you can mark this if you want where you can see it. Or just put the wires on to be easy and just push the whole board let the wires come out. Put, put, and then uh, you'll be able to hook it up. What we want to do now is we want to get to the fan. The fan uh, motor, the cooling fan. We've marked this already out with a, uh, a felt pen. That's all you need to do that with. We're going to show you how that's done. I'm going to make a few slices here. You can use a board like I have right here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start cutting right here. 
break it out, that's what you're basically going to have right there. The fan's going to fit right on here. You're going to drill two holes in there and mount the fan right here. We'll show you how to do that. This should drill pretty easy because we already got it. We're going to drill it there and there. And what you have now is you have the holes to mount the fan. You only need two screws that come with the kit. So what you can do is you put the screw right in the hole here, if you can see me. Right there, you put the screw in the hole, you're going to need a small screwdriver, screwdriver or Phillips. You can come right through this hole right here. See that right there? You mount, put it right onto the hole, screw it down. You just need something to hold it in place. Screw it down. <clears throat> there you have it. These terminals right here are the ones right here you're going to be using. You're going to use the tw uh, positive 12 volt. I'm going to show you right here a bigger picture. The positive 12 volt right here is going to hook up to the red wire on the fan. The red wire on the fan right here, you just cut it and the black wire is going to go to ground. That's going to power up. Like I said, it doesn't matter which way this fan goes, it can blow in or out. And all you got to do now is put this in here and screw it together. And there you have the pulse width modulator will be assembled and ready to go. Thank you for watching.